did I do what yet? Did you start the fucking podcast? I started the, we're starting the okay, podcast. Okay, well, you got to tell me so I don't seem like an idiot. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Hey, welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And Brian Callen is not with us today. He's actually has an important meeting. He's auditioning for Hangover 3, which I think is interesting because he's offered the first two roles in the first two movies. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he's not with us that today. That is weird. That is weird. <laughs> his, his, uh, his stock is falling. But in his place, he sent a friend of his. Uh, and so allow me to introduce this gentleman. We weren't quite expecting him, but he is a, uh, a professor of zoology at the university in Cape Town, Cape Town University in uh, South, it, South Africa. South Africa, yeah. Yes. And this is Usu Ngole. Yes, so my, my name, the, the way to pronounce my name is Usu Ngole. Usu? Usu? And it's a great Usu. Usu? Well, now, we didn't know we didn't know he was coming though, right? Yes. No, we were expecting uh, like another comedian. Or yeah, well, it's Brian, when Brian said that he wasn't going to be here, we thought maybe he's going to send a comedian in his place, maybe a good buddy of his, like Dove David, off a funny guy or something like that. But um, it, it's really great to have you. It's my great, great pleasure to be here in America. Okay, and doing this. Cool. Well, Thank the Ten Minute Podcast so is for yeah. Having me. Oh, great. Well, thanks for coming. The Ten Minute Podcast is all about having fun. Yes. We like to keep it real and fresh, and yes. and so you know we can talk about whatever. Sure. In Africa, we always and say that if you want to have fun, then just watch the ostrich as he runs. You really watch yes. the ostrich as he runs? Yes. What's fun about that? That's fun. Because they are so free. The ostrich can run many miles an hour. <laughs> sure. Right, sure. Yeah, yes. but, but, but who gives a fuck? Though? I am... But why is that fun, I guess? I yeah. Well... I should explain. No, you, but just make it quick. Yeah. I am an ostrich expert. Okay. And okay. so that is my area of focus. Well, and the our, great question oh that many people have asked, yeah. why if the ostrich yeah. is a bird, yeah. can it not fly? No, well, right. you know, here's the interesting uh, thing about us and, and our... The answer ac- must oh, okay. lie somewhere in... Our ancestors, you see, I guess the ostrich, um, you know, comes from different, Usu? Usu? A different species uh, Usu? of Usu. you know, our dinosaur. Okay, our our see our area of expertise here is to have fun. Chris and I and Brian, yeah, we like to talk. There's a dynamic that happens that we yes. we're, we're we're actually great friends in real life. So yeah. you know, do you know? We're, speaking, but we're just having fun. Speaking hey, so of Chris, great friends, Chris, I talked to that ostrich. Mates for life. Is That's that right? great. Speaking of Always. which, can, but Usu, are, can they I? Are, st- they are monogamous animals. Yes. Yeah. Are they? And That's... we can learn a great deal from the ostrich. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was great. Now, That's great. Uh, Thank you so much for joining. Usu, us. now what do you think about that this chiming great. in on this? Because Will's been trying to see this girl, and finally they've been texting back and forth, yeah. and like she, the, I'm excited. You, you hung nice out with girl. her one time. Yeah, we hung out. We went out on a date, and I think it went all right. And you know, she was uh, she was wearing something. She was wearing something kind of hot and revealing. Oh, cool. As long, so, as so, long so as that must mean she's not, into you, as right? As long as she was not wearing ostrich skin. Do you know oh, okay. that? All the people in Europe yeah. spend a great deal of money for ostrich skin boots yeah. and mm-hmm. purses and sometimes even car seats. Really? This no, I, I guess I understand that. But so, this but, must stop. So, what do you think about uh, the the the? What do you think about the dating situation in uh, America? I mean, have you have you met any girls? Have you? I have no time for dating because. All of my time is spent on ostriches. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I thought so. So, um, did you, do you know that Chris, the ostrich uh, beak is almost the same composition as ivory? You, this is a comedy mm-hmm. podcast. I'm gonna yeah, have we're to just trying to have uh, a good so time. This is a comedy podcast. We like to have a good time. We like to talk about fun stuff. And so maybe if you how instead of talking even about know, the, how do you even know? Yeah, Brian? how do you know Brian? Well, I, I'm glad you asked this because yeah, you're you know, glad I asked all the Brian questions. Brian is a great comedian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, we have a great following for him in South Africa. Oh, is that right? Really? Yeah. I didn't realize. Has, that, has he ever actually. done stand up kind of out there? Yes, he's done. He's done uh, stand up uh, in in Africa. Oh. And uh, a great many people we call him Itwa Dumela. What is that? <laughs> what does that mean? That means one who greets with great comedic fire. That's uh, there's a word for that. that yes. <laughs> really, the one who yes. meets for great comedic fire. Itwa Dumela. Itwa Dumela. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You see, 
He is a great soul. Hey, Chris, how's everything else going? It, it's going good. You know, like we what, just like how you doing? You just wrapped. Whitney. Yeah, we just wrapped Whitney. A so it's ago, going to, yeah. Whitney's a television show. It actually is going to be airing in in South Africa. Uh-huh. Um, and and uh, I have a movie coming out that's going to be called The Three Stooges. Uh, it's right, The Three Stooges is going to be Stooges. opening in many countries across the this world. Is, this is a this is a movie that uh, was made in 1930. Okay, okay. Well, well no, yeah, it sure. Was, it was a series uh, of shorts why, why, that were made through the 30s to the 50s. But why would I watch? Something that had been done a long time ago. <laughs> because it's... <laughs> when I have a chance to always watch ostriches. Oh, don't uh, talk about the see? ostriches. You know, Please. the ostrich oh, is very for fuck's often... Sake. Look, with, let me hey. see. Usu. Ulu, hey. what's your name? No. Usu. 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 Okay, look. Hey. Look, I, I, I have a great deal of respect for what you do. Thank you. No, it's no, no, listen. Great, but can you hear me out, though? It's pleasure to be I'm, here. Yeah, there's a butt. Okay, there's a butt. Listen to me. Listen to Chris. Listen to me, please. I have a great yes. deal you know of respect for what you got. If you fucking it, say one more it, fucking please. thing about the fucking ostrich, I will brain you right now. You Just got me? The, you fucking feel me? And he's gonna be. You're gonna be. I'll fucking, rip your fucking blonde hair right the fuck. You got goofy ass blonde hair. Yes, because and a little listen, fuck. You got no chin. Look at the way you people. respond to threats, dude. Yes. Well, you just be oh, well, okay. Well. What about the way you're fucking? He's threatening you. I'm fucking threatening you, dude. Uh, I'll what do you know you, about I'm threats? I'm going to beat you up. What do you difficult. know about threats? It's very difficult for me to be to respect your threats because I have been on the side of the opposite side of an angry ostrich. Please, oh no, God. God damn it. And did you know... It's so annoying you know when you just fucking everything you relate... everything the ostrich goes, can kick with the force of... No, a I didn't. Small car. I don't even know what the fuck you're... But no, well, I don't. I don't care because I, will, I don't care. I will tell you a great story. Oh, there was no, a it's lion. not going to be a it's great It's not going to be a great story. Please there just... was a great lion who charged an ostrich once. We were watching. And the ostrich, instead of running away, he kicked this ostrich in his head and crushed his head. And the lion <sighs> do your students, just died. Do your students ever... And so when you make threats to me, okay. it's a great pleasure for me because... Okay. I don't. I don't Do, find myself all right. afraid. You're the most right, boring right. person I've ever fucking met. Uh, and no, I've, been, I've been dragging my piss crank around this shit pebble called Earth for quite a while. But you, sir, are the most fucking mundane human being I've ever fucking met. And, and do your students ever just get in a fucking circle around you and kick you in your fucking face, your right. endless fucking talk That's box? Just, okay, you will, fucking will, walking, will, talking will, piece will. of shit. With your, I fucking hate your voice and your accent. You will, will, I want will. you to fucking shut up. You know what's funny about that? If I may. No, please don't. I, or, had, my I, students, just don't, don't I had my students form a circle around me oh. and we played ostrich. No, you didn't! Yes, they were kicking like an ostrich. And you know, if you can learn to kick like an ostrich, then oh, no geez. one will bother you. Because it's a great way to keep your enemies at a distance. Do you know anything about any other animals? Can you yeah. tell us anything what about, about a, any a fucking animal? Zebra. 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 What zebra. about a zebra? How fast does a zebra run? Well, I know that zebras can run almost as fast as, a, Don't say as, it, as an, an ostrich. ostrich. Right, See, I understand. how the fuck do you make a living? Just all you do is sit and you talk about ostriches. You've got a beautiful tweed quote here. Yes. And you, like, how it's do you weird. even make have a you, dollar? Have you ever, like, what is it about you and ostriches? How did you first get in, involved with that? That's so weird. Chris, that don't just, ask him about well, ostriches. Maybe they're all for, fucking derailing. I will tell you, I was a student of zoology. And many zoologists can speak about a great deal of Can animals. you talk quicker? Can you talk quicker? It's yes. only 10 minutes. Yes. You're not ta- What do you mean yes? That was the longest That's yes you've done all, all day. I can speak as quickly as you like. But you know, mm. isn't it important to it's, take our time? One of the things I always find and I learn every day is when I watch the ostrich, oh. how much time he takes with everything. What the oh, fuck thank are you talking about? Goodness, this you is over. You just said an ostrich is so fast like a car, and then you said it takes its time with everything. You're just fucking saying willy-nilly about ostriches. Usu, get the fuck out of here yeah. right now. Well, I want Before to thank Chris you. It has been a great pleasure for me. Shut up. To be here with you. I'm sorry if you are agitated. Leave. I want you to, I want you to leave, or I'm going to ball my fists and beat on you. Well, I'm going to break your skin with my fists. Well, do you do know that the ostrich does not have fists, but... <sighs> no, I know. Of course, it has fucking, fucking wings. wings. Yes. It has wings and feet. Yes. Thanks See, for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. We Thanks have for learned a great deal about subscri- ostriches We don't want to learn shit about I don't like the way you smile. Ostriches. I don't like the way you smile, bro. Did you know we, that this circumference for, of an ostrich egg is 71 for, centimeters? For you told on, us that before the on fucking iTunes podcast. iTunes, and, and we're on Stitcher Radio. Check us out on Twitter at 10 Pod and Usu... 
don't thank talk. You. And it, no, no. Don't say thank, thank you. you. We don't like you. We don't like you. We don't like you. Yes. We want you to go. No, away. not yes. We don't. I bought a space shuttle. You what? This NASA is getting rid of all their space shuttles. You, I bought one. You don't have the money for I'm a having space shuttle. I'm having it. Millions of dollars. I'm having it gold plated. Dude, you say, you say the craziest shit. That's billions of dollars. Act like you're rich. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. What are you- Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Ryan the Kid Callan. And I'm Chris Delia. I want to know what money you're going to use to get that fucking space shuttle, the yeah. 30 grand you made over for fucking. Th- Three Stooges. Hey, hey, hey. hey he made I more made a lot that, more. He made, he's he's going to make more, more on, on right. uh, uh, my, my shit my dad says money. All right. All right. Well, dude, shit. Space shuttle costs. It still no, costs like way too much money. Right now, dollars. going rate is about $27,000. You can buy a space That's shuttle. Not I, That's not true. That's not true. I bought one, and Jaleel White bought one, and uh, I think... Uh, First of all, that's so fucking weird. <laughs> I don't think and, you're telling the truth. And Elton Brand, who's a basketball well, player. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Those are the only guys you have. Sixth man? Now they're out. Yeah, I don't know. I forget where he plays. I used to play for the Clippers or something. Right. Anyway, I got a space shuttle. I don't know where to put it. That's you great. bought one already? I bought it. I have it. You're um, a fu- you're a, you know what? You're a fucking idiot, dude. Hey, you man. Didn't... Hey, man. Hey, man. You're getting me tense. Don't call me that. You're getting me fucking tense. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, you're making hey, muscles. Guys, hey, audience, uh, here, audience listening abroad, you want to hear how to get Chris really pissed off? Watch this. Hey, man. Don't do that. Hey man. <laughs> hey man. Hey, hey, do we have that awesome tweet that guy from Turkey what? sent? There was a tweet I saw or like a message that you you texted. Oh me. hey, 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 Chris. <laughs> Brian's trying to talk about the internet again. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Brian, you way to go, buddy, man. You oh don't fucking God. get shit. First it's of like, all, that it's... was not a tweet. This is how fucking clueless Brian is. That was not a tweet. I'm not and good you at can, this shit. Listen, and you can tell it wasn't a tweet. You know why? Because it was 4,000 characters. There you go. Okay? And it was a review of our podcast on, on iTunes. Well, yeah, we, on read, fucking iTunes. we read all the reviews, so if you hey, guys write that, them. That's like... Uh, that's like uh, I want to that, read that's a lot like, of reviews. Brian, I, you, that, that's just like a dad... Just just like, a, just like a fucking dad at home, like with a yeah. hey, uh, hey kids, I hear you. Hey, did you guys, did you guys get that new iPod? Did you hey, read that hey, tweet? Hey, did you guys read the Twitter? I, I, hey guys, hey kids, I got a Twitter. It's I'm called, not that much older than you, it's fucking right. Daphne, do, but Daphne, you act like it. Daphne. Stop Daphne ganging up hey, on me. Hey, ca- hey kids, I'm gonna call my tweeter Daphne and Brandon's dad tweets. <laughs> <laughs> no, dad, that's too long. Uh, anyway. Stop think- ganging up on me. Yo, no, I, fuck I, you. I, okay, look, here's the deal. You guys fucking, first of all, all we do is bullshit on this fucking podcast, okay? Yeah. I think that, I honestly got to say, I think that the show's missing something. What? What could it possibly be missing? Nothing? No, I, I think that, like, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world today, and, like, you know, it's like. What, you want to talk about politics? And Don't stuff? talk you, about you guys. No, no, no. Listen, listen, you guys know that I'm not very political, right? No, you don't okay, read, you don't, you don't no, read anything. No, hold on. Nope. News for you, dude. Here's a current event. I've I've been reading the newspaper for the past few months, and I think that we should do a, a no, segment. No, no, no. Look, let me tell you something. That will, that, that will be a mistake. Our no. audience knows what they get from the ten minute podcast. They don't want yeah. us to. They, 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 but this I is think a, it might be a good idea. To, you know, there's a lot of things that people want to talk about. There's hot button issues that you know we've been learning. I've been learning about, and I think that we should do a, a, a segment. What would? Okay, let me just as an example. What would your segment be called? I don't know. Like current event in it with Chris or something that's the dumbest that's the dumbest that makes no sense it it completely uh, nobody's gonna think that that's a a reliable news source I I, I like it and now current eventing it with Chris Hey, listeners, welcome to Current Event in It with Chris. What the fuck was that? Who was that guy? Here we talk about hot button issues all across the the world. Wait a minute. And we get, we offer opinions, and and we get to hear about you guys, what you guys want to talk about. So, you guys, let's do, let's do one here. Uh, I've been noticing today, uh, and in the past few uh, days, how how do you guys feel about the Greek voters punishing two main parties for the collapse? Oh, I I have a commentary on that. They're very far away in Greece, and they don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. Even a shit. Now, see, that's okay, the problem well, with you guys is, today, okay? Is, now, let me tell you something, because it was plunged into uncertainty on Sunday, and the voters bolstered uh, if, uh, a neo-Nazi right wave of protest. You're, you're just reading, reading, you're reading off that your computer. and acting like you're, no. you're making commentary. You read that right off the you computer. You read it off your laptop. You're no. acting like you're saying it in conversational English, but you, no. you just read it. No, that's not true. The outcome <laughs> along with, w- with that in France is expected to resonate far beyond Europe, and when, I possibly... 
what's that? Say it again and try it in English. The outcome. Of, I'm saying France, and with the it's because it's a hot button issue, and you gotta you gotta hot understand. Issue. Do you know what you're even fucking saying? Of you, course I do. Do you dude. know what the issue of in France I is? Do. What yes. is it? Yes. First of all, Greek voters are punishing two main parties in, for their collapse. Okay? You're reading now, that. No, I'm not. I'm not reading it. <laughs> but you've got lobbyists everywhere. What, what is the collapse? What's the collapse in Greece? Yeah, it's all about this. Yeah, it's all. It all comes down to one fucking hot button issue. But what I'm trying to tell what you, is the if you collapse? I swear to God, if you Greece. say hot button issue one more yeah. time, I'll no. fucking knock what's you out with my microphone. Well, okay, here's another question. What's going on in France right now? France? Yeah, what's the oh, well, we're talking about I, I, know what's okay. go- I know what's not going on in France. What? Fucking showering. Okay. And fuck- All right, dude, don't be ignorant. That's what's not I, going I, on. That's not true. They, I'll tell you what is going on in France, though. Some fucking pretty tasty triple cream cheeses. <laughs> All right, well, bread. well you you think about food and and dick and, and <laughs> no, I don't. the 10-minute podcast. You guys, podcast. this is not. China, in old tradition, races to airbrush fallen leader out of the public life. So now there's a guy in China, obviously, <laughs> that's a, he's leading a bunch of guys. And the thing is, is that when you try to follow him, if he's a fallen leader and out of, a, they're trying to airbrush him out of the public life. What is the deal with that? You're you the guys, worst. No, I'm not. You're okay? the worst political commentator in the history of the world. And I'll tell you something too in Chongqing, China. Uh, until recently, uh, visitors they arrived to the urban planning exhibition hall where he greeted with a high tech shrine to Bo Zilao. And it's like, <laughs> what? I'm, I'm trying to ask you guys if that's a hot button issue or not. Do you because said I again. have you a said hot button issue again. Uh, I'm getting you're, real you're mad. You're the worst news anchor slash political commentator in the world. You no, don't read. I'm not. This is the first time you've ever read a headline. You have no idea no. what's going on. No. Right. Who's well, the president of France? Uh, well, first of all, we're not talking about France. And that's obviously you're trying to deflect it because you don't who's know anything our, about he, China. Because who who in February, our... two days after Mr. Bo's police chief, Wang Lijian, okay, just... sought to refuse okay, an American Chris, consulate. Chris, Chris, don't. And Chris, the consulates out there are fucking crazy. If you're talking about lobby, <laughs> and you're talking about partisans. Then what you got to do is you've got to. Un- There's an underlying hot button issue that we're all you afraid said of. It again. And the Stop cultural, the cultural revolution, and further, it's further tweaked during the political purges that followed the. You're reading. No, I'm not. Chris, you're Chris, look you're at literally. The so you're saying that there wasn't Tiananmen Square protests in July 1989? Hey, I'm that's not bullshit. saying that. We're not that is bullshit Stop because we all know that. Dude, you're there freaking Guys, out. Okay, look, this is the 10 minute podcast. We should be talking about beating the shit out of each other or Brian, you're a fucking uh, asshole. Lessons or... of Iraq helped U.S. fight a drug <laughs> war in Honduras. Okay, Chris, and I'm Chris, telling Chris, you, Chris, Chris, yeah. Chris. What, you, you're out of your mind. No. What is. Let's see how much you know about okay. politics. Who is the U.S. Secretary of State? Okay, look, dude. We're talking. Now, here's the deal. Who you don't is know the about the U.S. This. Secretary of State? Now, there's an operating base in, in Who Morocco, is the U.S. Macron, Secretary of Honduras. State? Honduras. The Who United is the States Vice military President? is pressing. The, I'm closing this. Please don't close that. I'm on Facebook. Vi- I'm chatting. Who's the Vice President? Jaleel White. No, it's not Jaleel White. Not, I didn't say thing. Jaleel White. Honduras is the latest focal point of American drug war. I don't okay? want to And that's very obvious. Now, let me tell you something. Can we if just talk... Can we just it, talk about the size of our dicks or... No. Hey, oh, 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 yeah, yeah you know what? We can. In the meantime, there's a drug war going on in Honduras. And as Mexico puts to squeeze on narcotics barons using its territory to transistor hub... I mean, more You're than 90% of cocaine. Okay, listen, take his fucking computer away. Look, take no, his fucking computer away. Listen to me. Listen to me. No, stop. No. Fuck, let's, talk about, let's talk about dick size. Yeah. Let's talk about, hey, who that fucked be that chick? Idea. Let's or, talk about that when amid Brazil's rush to develop, oh workers resist. You know what, you guys? You can talk about dick size, but it's like this. The revolt <laughs> on the this. banks of Madeira River. The Amazon's... Lo- now, that's the Amazon's largest tributary flared after sunset. <laughs> I, I'm fjord. Trying, fjord. Yeah, not fjord, fjord. Not no. flared. It's flared. It's fjord. Now, it's it's fjord, flared. You fucking oh, it's fjord. If you're looking at me like it's not a hot button issue, then I'm going to come at you if with you all my lobbyists <laughs> and all my parties, parties, my different parties. First of all, it doesn't matter whether you're a part of the. Uh, what the, are you doing the, to the, our show? The the Democratic parties, you're part of the Republican parties. Even if you're independent, you got to understand. No, stop. You got to understand that in oh, Brazil, thank God. there's a oh rush to God. develop. That was the worst podcast we've ever done in our lives. This is what the fuck. You guys are you guys are jealous that I'm politically. You should call right your now. political segment. What the fuck? Because I no. have no idea what you're talking about. Chris, that was, that. if I may, I, I don't know. Why did you hijack the show and turn it into a, a, a political a news, news hot button news are, are show? You, because there's some shit out there that people are trying to turn their heads and they're trying to pretend like it's not happening. Yeah, and and with can... jokers like you talking about your dick size and shitting, and excuse me for trying to make the world a better place by getting people informed about hot button issues. No, but you're so not, they can go to the, You're they not can, informed. You're not informed. I am informed. In- How did I know about all that shit about that was going on in Brazil? They can go to the, the Guardian UK. They can go to fucking. How did I know about all the fucking Iraqi bullshit? We don't need. You don't need to do that. How did I know about all the Iraqi bullshit? You read it off the internet. 
Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. We're on Twitter and Stitcher and Fuck iTunes. You. Thanks for subscribing. Fuck you. 10MinutePodcast.com. You guys got those dicks that are a different color than your body? You're talking about the ones that go in your butt, right? No, no, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> no. I'm talking about is your dick like? Do you have a purple dick? Oh, like you like black guys or Latino? No, or? like sometimes only a white I, guy with a black dick. Off. <laughs> <laughs> Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to Ten Minute Podcast. You know what? You're right though. There are those guys, yeah. and not that you're looking at dicks all day, right. but like there are those guys that have darker dicks than the rest of their bodies. Yeah. What is that shit? I don't understand why. We used to have a God friend made us that way. I used to have a friend. Uh, my, by the way, mine's the same color. Mine's yours is obviously purple. Mine, mine is mine is purple, brown, and blue. No, but my, mine is mine is lobster red. No, but mine. <laughs> I don't know what's but going so, on. So so we yeah, had a buddy. I, gotta, I had psoriasis of my dick. We, we we had a buddy who who in in high school that had a, a really dark dick, and we would call him dark dick. <laughs> Good you name. Call, you, called was a, him, you called him boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, no, Brian, no. That's cool. ah, fucking wonder what. Well, ah. yeah. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast, brought to you by Amazon. Go to our website, hit the Amazon thing to buy shit, and uh, Gamefly.com. So boring. Chris, say, boring uh, as fuck. Brian, say, say Gamefly. Gamefly! No, don't, no, don't, don't do, do it for a too long, long time, like you always do, because that joke's funny right, once guys, or twice, not but you do it 17 times. I'm like, Gamefly! Shut up. Shut the fuck up. But go to the... Ow! Hey, man, don't fucking... Chris you'll fucking hit my them. person. Shut the fuck don't up. Don't hit my person, bro. Don't do that. That's Be really quiet. uncool. Um, I, have a, I pulled my neck. Uh, All right, so... My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. Don't I'm, fucking hit me, I'm bro. I'm Chris D'Elia. Lightning hands, dude. Don't call me that. I mean, Shadow. don't say he that. He called himself that. I know, I'm, but... I'm, it, what it, I am is I am uh, stick, sticky fingers. I do, I, you can't get them off. Yeah, because your fingers on you. are always near butt. Oh, I won that one again. <sighs> what are you doing? Brian's checking his fucking stupid email like it matters. But well, he checks his stocks and then he says he calls it winning. I won that. Yeah, no, you I, didn't win it. No, I was saying that it's I not won. eBay. I won when I said your fingers are bending your butt. That's why they're sticky. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, man. Oh, cool. Do you ever um, have you ever seen what is the what is the one scene in a movie that you can remember that turned you on the most? You're getting at this because you want to talk about yours is Brokeback Mountain, right? No. <laughs> when he says I no. can't quit you. No. Yours is a yours is a porn version of Welcome Back, Cotter. Come on, bro. Where, where, uh, where they're fucking, they're all sucking Vinnie Barbarino's dick yeah. at the same time. Nope. And he's like, Poor Shaq <laughs> is sucking. You'll never guess mine. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. You sucking my dick at the same time, even though we all go to school together. <laughs> That's the that's the porn version of Welcome Back, Carter. Yeah, oh dude, my god, really well written. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so weird. My friends are sucking my dick now. Oh my god, really good, really good writing. Yeah. Hey, why why are you sucking my dick and I'm wearing this jacket? Yeah. <laughs> why didn't I bother to take off my jacket if I was gonna get comfortable for blowjob from a guy? <laughs> right. <laughs> that's a good movie. Um, no, the movie that turned me on, I think the most. I'm thinking about it is probably Porky's when Kim Cattrall. Pulls off her at pants, and you see just her underwear. And she wants, she's getting so horny and wants to have sex with the guy in the gym because she smells all the sweat. I, I, I remember being so turned on that it ached. Really? I was 14 or something, mm. and I was, you, I was dying. Wow. I think that's the, well, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that's hard. We got, you really got to think back with that, oh, especially you. Wanna, you you want to hear a true story? A long time I ago. I swear to God, this is a true ago. story. I was, I swear to God, I can't believe I'm going to tell this story. I was watching The Accused. Remember when Jodie Foster got raped? This is really terrible. Yeah. Okay. And it's a really harsh scene where the guy's like, Yeah, talking to the microphone. You know what my buddy mic. did? My buddy turns to me and he goes, Dude, I got to fuck. <laughs> oh no. my God. I swear to God. Oh, it's terrible. God. I remember being like, Dude, that's, that's weird. That's really bad. The, the, you, you know, I mean, but then the, actually they say that um, a lot of times young boys and girls. But you used girls, to be friends with Kobe Bryant, though. That's what. <laughs> Am I right? Or? I never forgot that. I just remembered that. I'm, I'm not laughing at rape anybody. I'm, I just, I, I, I'm all right. at all. Well, I just thought it was fucking, well, as I think back how crazy we are as human beings. Yeah. Chris, he's not what, a rapist either. He's a great Chris, guy. Chris, what's yours? Um, mine was, I remember, do, you, do you guys even know about these movies that are like called Emmanuel? Yeah, I remember. There's those. like 37 no, of them. I don't, I don't yeah, remember. yeah. And they and then the Super one girl erotic. got one girl got too old, and then the other girl, they got another young girl or some shit. It's just called Emmanuel. There's, there's literally like maybe 50 of them. Yeah, I love that name. Yeah, Emmanuel. I love that name. And it was just this it's a good French. name for a guy, right? It was French, right? 
Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. French. They showed them in Canada. They shot in Canada? No, they, so you probably, did a few, them you probably did a few of them. I was in episodes 7, 13, and uh, 19, and no, 20. No, but there were movies, but that was, the first, that was the first movie that I was like, whoa, oh, a, a female's body, you know? Yeah. And, I, and I remember I, um, I liked it so much and then I, I, that I felt bad afterwards. I cried. It, it's actually when you see a girl, two a naked ago. girl on film when you're younger it, mm-hmm. and they're so beautiful, it's hard to even put into context. Like for yeah. a guy, it's all encompassing. Like you're like, holy, you know what fucking movie turned, the sh- turned me on like nobody's business? Sin City. Really? With those fucking... Oh, you like, like Josh Hartnett, though. Gia, no, that's why. You like Josh Hartnett. Gia Car- Car- uh, Carolla? Car- G- Gia Carano. Oh, no. She's when gorgeous you do, in that. No, no, no also not, Benicio, not Gina Carano. I know Sorry. you. No. G- Gina, Gina Gershon. I know no, you. No, no, not Gina Gershon. I know you. Carano. And Josh Hartnett, forget it. Benicio Del Toro, forget it. The two of them together, you're going to fucking just no, pop no, off like no. a sprinkler. Yeah, yeah you are. Dude, you're I'm just going to keep squirting. Yeah. I'm not into those it's guys. Like I'm a... not into guys. I'm into girls. So don't don't yeah. say that. My, mine mine was 1987's Something Wild, starring Jeff Daniels, Ray Liotta, and remember Melanie it Griffith. very well. And when I remember there was like free pay per view or free free movie channels when I was a kid because you know we didn't we were you know my parents too cheap to have the there's no way you get the movie channels in my house yeah. the Sasso house no way. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so we had the movie channel. So I videotaped a few movies. That was one of them. So I replayed that scene over and over again. Probably beat off to it a few times. When she gets on top of him. When she gets on top of yeah. Jeff Daniels. Yeah. And it was 12, I was 12 years old when that movie came out. Yeah. And so I probably, I lost my virginity just before that. At 11? And yeah, no, I didn't. And um, she, oh. she, I probably lost my virginity 20 years after that. Um, <laughs> and no, uh, so she's, yeah, she's riding him. And I just remember really identifying with that character that Jeff Daniels plays in the movie because he's such a square. Also, you, yeah, and also you like to be dominated by a woman because no, you have a lot of feminine no. energy. Even no, though you're, no, even though you're, no, you're I, about the size of a horse. No. You still want to be dominated no. by a woman. I've never no. fantasized about a girl being on top of no. me. I, no. I like to get on top no, but of a girl because no. I'm a guy. No, and also was, another movie that he loved is Disclosure. That hey, he, he couldn't hey, stop jerking off to that one. No, right. stop, I didn't jerk off to Disclosure. Yeah, yeah. I was rooting for Jeff Daniels to grab her by the fucking throat, hey, spin her around and show her what the fuck up with her fucking floppy tits flapping around. She didn't have floppy Kids, tits, dude. She did. They were a little. They were flopping around a little bit. What but anyway, that turned me on because he didn't know he was gonna get fucked. You know, though, I gotta look this up. You know, it was one of the hottest th- scenes. What was that Kevin Costner movie with the kid? I know that's about that doesn't narrow it down at all because he's always in a movie with a kid. But what's the thing where the one where he? Oh fuck! I can't even. He like comes to town. Never mind. This is every Kevin Costner movie. Let me look it up, and then oh, you, you guys you know, keep talking. Oh, I know and while what you're you do that, about. while you Perfect do that, world. No, is it that? Yeah, that's what it is. Perfect. There's world. a really hot sex scene in that where he fucks the bartender, oh, yeah. the girl. While, while you while you do that, I wanna I'm gonna look I wanna up, ask though. someone else what their favorite movie was. And now it's time for keeping it real with Shana. Here we, here we go. My name is Shana. I'm keeping it real on the ten minute podcast with Brian Chris Will. Shit. Ha <laughs> ha. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. Y'all talk about I'm fucking. Uh, y'all like to fuck and what movies I like to watch. Some motherfuckers fucking okay. and the me fucking I'm fucking myself uh, with my hand. All right, hey so, Shauna, so hey. what's what's your favorite sex scene from a movie? Yeah. Hands down, it's in Do the Right Thing, 1988 Do the Right Thing with Spike Lee, where he take ice cubes and roll them on Rosie Perez's tits. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I got my whole fist up my ass watching that shit. Oh what? god. This concludes keeping it real with Shana. Hey, my name is Shana and I kept that shit real. So one love motherfucker, cause now you know the deal. Chip, chip, chip. Well, the, she kept it real. That is a good scene. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I mean, guess. I guess I, that's who. It was I didn't ever see that movie. So. He knows his audience. So. Yeah, but uh, we don't need to hear how she put her fist. in her I don't need to hear <laughs> that Shauna put her fist in her. Have ass. you ever had a woman give you ass play? By the way, be honest. Oh, that's weird. Total silence. I mean, oh, you guys wait and see. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you want? I mean, Why'd you guys? You guys froze you like me? deer in the headlights. You clearly have had no, at no, least no, no, girls' no, fingers. No, up. this is a podcast. No, 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 no. This is a podcast it's for everybody. Just saying, saying, saying. What, what, what do you say? What do you want to talk say, about? You, you guys got weird, man. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 you're saying Brian? Okay, well, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe we just talk about. Like, what's your favorite first kiss or yeah, whatever? Oh, that's a good one. That's, that's a good one. Said, did you guys oh, ever move? Show's over. Show's over. Ever show's over. At? Hey, I thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Great. Whoa. Stitcher. It's on Stitcher. It's on Stitcher, Stitcher Smart Radio. Okay. Thanks for listening and downloading and subscribing. No. We are on iTunes Stitcher. We are on oh Brian. Oh hey, God. Brian, why don't you sing that funny song we're, that we like? We're on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter sing a funny song at the end. No, man. I want to know if you guys ever had any ass play from girls. No, Facebook slash 10 Min Pod. So thanks for listening and good night. Follow Brian Callen. Follow Brian Callen on Twitter. What the fuck is going on? You guys. 
follow at fr- Brian Callen yeah. on Instagram. Because he's so funny, right, Brian? You Come freaked on. out. You both freaked, freaked out. Joe. Do you got some uh, dates coming up you want to plug? You're, not even, you're, to, you're totally, you're totally we're creating out of time. distraction. We're out of time. I think, I think oh actually. Oh, my God. Yeah, and thank and you very much, guys. Wow, that was really weird. I asked one simple question. No, it's question. over now. This isn't recording now. <sighs> Have you guys ever had any ass play from girls now that we're not recording? Guys? Well, uh, yeah. Chris, send me that picture. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sending it to you, dude. I just sent it to you. And well, it, it's it electronic, so how is it taking the, so long? The picture to... of his own penis? Yeah, he yeah. wants a picture that I took of You're his own dick. You're sending it via messenger pigeon? Cause I, I got pigeon? Pigeon? Hmm. pigeon? Hmm. I think pigeon. you meant pigeon. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10-Minute Podcast. Yeah. Carrier pitching? Pitching. <laughs> Guys. You pitching or catching that pitching? You know what's funny? You can make fun of me, and that seems to be the dynamic uh, the past year or so. Uh, let's shit on Brian. It's every day shit on Brian day. Right, right, and yeah, that's right. fine. Because guess Thank who's going to be rich as shit and, and not have to worry about your horse shit? Because I'll be on a yacht with a bunch well, of Well, you're Russians not letting us answer. Yeah, you you answer said guess who. You're not letting us answer. The answer. Well, the answer is me because no. I just invented something that the whole world is going to be The using. answer is Drake. Drake uh, is going to be the richest man. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what he says uh, in the song. Started I'm gonna be the, the richest man. Started, started from the bottom. bottom. Yo, by the way, hey, I got a question, man. Is Drake from the bottom? <laughs> Every fucking song. Yeah, we on the bottom. We started on the bottom, and then we went to the yeah, higher than top. that. We got. We got to the top. Start. It's a very simple law of science. When you start yeah. something, it has to yeah. be at the beginning. You can't go lower than when you starting because that's when you starting, and you at the bottom. Then you get to the top. Now we all here. This is <laughs> songs called Locations. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. You want to buy something on Amazon? Go to Ten Minute Podcast Brian Callen says, "Game fly." My yeah. name is Will Sasso. Uh, I'm Brian the Kid Callen. And I'm Chris D'Elia. And, I'm gonna be and we all started, started at the started. bottom, and Yo. then we go on to the higher than that. Here's, 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 Drake's, you guys here's, Drake's, rap, here's Drake's rap about 10-minute podcast. At the beginning, there was one. There was only one episode, but then they made more. <laughs> then they're here. Then they, <laughs> then after, a, after that second one was third. Now it's like a hundred. Now it's like a hundred, and there's so many more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is so bewildered right now. I don't now. know who Drake is. No, he's a rapper. I am, um, listen to Mozart. I uh, am about to be rich. I oh, why? I invented uh, something. What'd you invent? That when I tell you, you're going to be like, why am I not closer to Brian and how can I work for his company? What is it, man? Um, hey, man. I invented a way to put suntan lotion on your back when you're alone at the beach. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And um, I go to the beach by myself a lot. Yeah. They're no, being but- made in. China now. I'm about to fucking. No. Well, let me guess. Let me guess. Are you about to whoboosh? Are, are you about to? Are you about to do that? Are you about to do that? No. No. I'm about to. That's what I said. That's a version of what I said. Whoboosh. That's he a said version. Whoboosh. Uh, here's what I want. I want, you know how George Lucas keeps fucking with the Star Wars trilogy? Yeah. yeah. And all those movies? I want Brian Callen to do all of the Foley work for every Star Wars. I would watch the shit out of that. Like, they're flying out of the Death Star. They just drop Fly, the bomb okay. or whatever. They shut. And then, and then the Death Star explodes. Yeah, good one, good one. But you gotta go, I wish, I wish you saw video of what Brian just did. He looked like he was very, he looked like he was very quickly eating a hamburger. Yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> looked yeah, he looked like a fucking squirrel eating a hamburger. Started at the bottom Man. and then we go on higher. I'm Brian. climbing, man. <laughs> You're a <I> child. <laughs> eating a hamburger really quickly. Eating a hamburger really quickly. <laughs> Are we really? It doesn't do it justice just hearing it. You got to see it. He's got his fingers huh. in his mouth, like he's eating morsels of hamburger. Mm, so, go. Brian, you've got a, you've got a, you've got a product. How does it work? I how got does a it, crazy product. How does it's, it work? It's, what's that? How does it work? Yeah, how the how fuck does it work? Does it work? How okay. does something apply lotion to well, you? Well, it's already been invented, so suit? I'm not worried about you stealing my thing. Okay. It is a like a squeegee with an extendable uh, a handle, and it's got uh, the suntan lotion is in the handle, and you just squeeze it. Mm. And you just squeegee your back. Okay, well, see, but now it's called. That sounds the, not good. Yeah, it's called the back alone. 
and uh, heck it's alone. Crush. It's not going to crush. How oh, much is one? How much is one? How much is one unit? One unit. Don't say unit. No. Well, just one, call it a thing. Yeah. Well, how much is one fucking applicator? One back alone, which comes with which comes with a month supply of. Okay. Of, that you can go to the beach for 30 lotion, days. You can go to the beach for 30 lotion. days in a row if you are a loser. That's right. But if it comes with it, so you don't have to worry about anything. Your back stays tan and bronze. Who doesn't want a bronze back? The problem is most people walk around with bronzed fronts. Okay. Not in and white how backs, much white is backs. it? And, and you can buy one right now for $98. That's okay, too Brian. much. And it comes with. And it comes what with, could it possibly come with? Suntan lotion? Extendable handles. For, for super fucking tall and or fat people? Yeah. Yes, in fact. Uh, we've mo- scaled it to the American populace, <laughs> all of whom are overweight and way too Okay, big. but here's the problem with your product, and I see this a lot with products. There's sort yeah. of a thing where it's like, oh, I kind of have that already. Yeah. So all I would do if I was like thinking of the back alone, I'm driving down the PCH, I'm headed over to. Uh, to Zuma Beach I just pull over at the Gulf Station the gas station and I just take one of their squeegees you should ask and then I dip it in banana boat and then I just use that and also also don't call it the back alone absolutely well it's the back alone you should ask yourself Will uh, why you think you deserve to be in America and I'm going to tell you why I'm an American citizen yes I am I'm an American citizen yes I am because you obviously don't believe in the American way and you you shit on on amazing entrepreneurial ideas no 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 no. I was born and raised in Canada and I'm I'm more of an American citizen than you because I chose to be here no sorry I'm sorry yeah you don't get to choose where you're born but you get to choose where you stay dude it's like your family and your friends dude that's why you're not close with your father or your mother because you don't like them and you choose your friends yeah you choose your friends you choose your friends you love us you love me more you, than your father. And you I fucked, said that lie. And I, the very, last time, I love my father. The last time I went through Venice, I went to uh, Jolene, and you were eating with fucking Leif Garrett, and you guys were high as shit. Right. It's Jolena, and I wasn't eating with Leif Garrett, but he is a friend of mine. Now, now I, I got a wait, lot of celebrity wait, friends. Wait, what? Yeah, I got a lot of friends. Why we do you know Leif of, Garrett? Leif and I do True TV together. We do World's Dumbest. And, uh, uh, and now, are you the subject on that show? Hey, bro. <laughs> What? Hey, bro. What, what is it called? My fans what? don't like that shit. And what is it called? Your fan doesn't like that? And what out. is it called? I'm a standout on that show. It's called World's Dumbest. No, and it's, it's about not. you it's and called, your life. Right. It's called Brian Callen is World's Dumbest starring Leif Garrett. Guys. What? Don't. I'd don't, watch that. I'd watch that. Don't make fun of the TV Let show. Let me ask that I you do. something, Brian. How interesting is that show? Does it only show your face and never your body? Does it never show below your collarbone? Hey, man, what are you doing? Oh, okay. So it's basically you just giving your opinions on the world's dumbest things. Stop! Wow, that sounds amazing, Stop dude. It. You're being r- no. I really super would rude. love to watch you talking close up about somebody who fucking tried to rob a Seven Eleven and didn't work out. <laughs> I would love that, dude. I would love that, man. Uh, Hey, man. I'd love love to watch a show about you talking about a guy who tried to fucking steal an ATM. Don't wrinkle your nose at me. And how it doesn't work. Don't wrinkle your Uh, nose at me. He's he's wrinkling wrinkling his nose hardcore. Yeah, don't do that. That's that's really condescending. What's it about, man? Your movies? Bro. Is that what that show's about? Is it about your... Is it about your fucking Puma scrubs that you're wearing? Hey, Brian has really, fucking scrubs on have, made by Puma. He's no. wearing sweatpants. No, wearing great, that's, like if you're just, that's like if you're just done I'm, from the basketball game and you need to save a life. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm a fucking athlete. All right, man. Look, the, the back athlete. alone. The back alone. Forget about yeah. True TV for a Who second. Who wouldn't want? What, Me. How many of you? How guys do you out spell there? True TV? By the way, is it T R U E or is it uh, something? I know. Is it something cute and clever? It's T R U dash TV. I think. Really? Right. Is it? It's T R U. I think yeah. that's really T-R-U? actually that's really cute. <laughs> no, <don't. laughs> Stop laughing like that. Stop cackling. But he's got a at point. Him. That's fucking cute. No, can I can I pitch yeah. my product? Please? Pitch your product. So sure, go for oh. it. Hey, the man, back this alone. is your form. Hey, how do you spell back alone, Brian? How do you spell, spell back alone? Are there spell any it. dashes in it? <laughs> there is a dash. Oh, really? And how does it spell? Okay. B A C K. Okay. Dash. Uh huh. A. A. Loan. Okay, so it's a U <laughs> or an A? Is it it's a, a U? U I, I okay, think you so spell it. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah. It's I a U. You should so it's Q. You so it's should U H. <laughs> it's U H. Let me ask you something. Did you get that U from True TV? No, it's it's U H alone uh. because you go oh you go oh. So where can we look? The show's over. Where can we buy the back alone? Is okay. it just in patent uh, form yes, it's right now? coming out. Is it going through beta testing? Yeah, we're doing on Asian backs. We're doing a we're doing an infomercial. No one's going to be late night. And I'm really looking forward. Right, to who's, starring, who's starring in the infomercial, huh? 
a guy that you work with on True TV? Richard, Richard Rico has signed. Um, <laughs> uh, well, he's tan. Play. He's tan. Yeah. It's a play, kid from Kid and Play. Uh, uh, hey, all right. Hey, thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, and uh, thanks for subscribing, downloading on iTunes. Please tell your friends. Share this with a friend. And we'll keep this motherfucker going. We're on Facebook slash uh, 10 Minute Pod. Twitter, Twitter at 10 Minute Pod. Follow 10 Minute Podcast on Vine. And follow myself, Brian and Chris. Uh, people Never listen to this part. Listen to Here's, it's the good part at the end. Um, see, there's fucking three seconds left. Two, ah. one. Hey, guys, you know what's fun? Mm. The beach. Why? Uh, it's fun to go to the beach. Why? Well, you can just go in the ocean. You or have you the can skin wa- tone that Why are you talking like the guy so from red. Get Smart, though? I don't... The beach. <laughs> <laughs> Some podcasts are slow, And you don't know how long they <laughs> I wish I wish you could have seen Will's face when he said the beach that last part. It was actually uh, uh, secure. <laughs> hey, welcome to the time of the podcast. Um, buy shit on Amazon through our website if you're going right. to do that. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. Oh, God. Dude, man. If someone anyway. hasn't listened to the show before, then they just want to know your name, man. Oh. Hey, oh, you know, come on. Say your last name. Chris D'Elia. Okay. You got it out. Go. All right. Listen, I, I think that we, we are so silly on this podcast. I want to get, I want our fans to actually get to know us. You know what? We are silly on this podcast. Yeah, you know why? Because it's a silly podcast. I, I wanna, Every episode's silly. I, I want our fans to, I think the way you get to know, I think yeah. we should each tell silly. a story that well, neither one of us know about each other that illuminates who we really are. Uh, let, let's get a little vulnerable. Neither one here. of us, because there's three of us. So yeah, hmm. interesting. So, but also, so if there's three, that's neither hmm. one of us. Hmm. Guys, you could say the other one. The but other the other one. thing is, in iTunes, it says comedy. Well, so hmm. that is I wanna, true. <laughs> I, I want to get. I want to. You want to get a little. You want to get serious. I just want to get a little. I just think we should each tell a story about. I want to tell a story about comedy podcasts. <laughs> I want. How's that going to go down? Uh, uh. I just think it would be helpful for our fans to really get to know the essence of who we are and why we are the way we are. I think welcome. a lot of comedy masks pain. Welcome, right. welcome to the serious yeah. shit podcast. It's podcast. called the Vulnerable Podcast. <laughs> welcome to the Vulnerable Podcast. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I was bullied. You were bullied. Yeah, very badly in eighth grade. You were just Seventh bullied grade. now. Why? What happened? Uh, there was this kid. He used to bully me a lot when I was in seventh grade, Mm -hmm. and he made me do all kinds of stuff. Like, he would make me hang out with him. I didn't want to hang out with him. He made me smoke weed when I didn't want to when I was in seventh grade. (laughs) Serious? Yep. He punched me in the face. He made me. He made me neglect my dog. What? He didn't let me feed my dog one weekend. He just wanted to be mean. Now This is all serious, too. When you're not fucking around. I'm not fucking around. And by the way, if I saw him now, and you guys think I'm kidding... I'd beat his fucking ass. No. I'd stop. take a fucking bat to his knees. Why? What does he do? And you think I'm kidding. I, 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 there will be, and if I ever do see him, there will have to be a, a score settled. He must be very careful and very respectful. Where is me. he now? I don't know. Well, okay, but hold on. You were how old? Seventh grade? How yeah. could you hold a grudge for that long because he made you not feed because, your dog? Because he... Because he needs to pay, because he needs to pay for what he did to my dog. Okay, but for making me smoke weed and for punching me in the face. That's not that bad. That, it's it's terrible, and for being generally uh, uh, tyrannical to me over a whole year and bringing myself out of who I am. But it's the reason that I learned how to wrestle and punch people in their fucking face and kick. And the reason I have. But you're being very serious. He's, but let me tell you something. Fists. You don't. You fists. actually don't have to. F- Find that guy and fight him. And let me tell you why. Why? Because he probably owns a print shop somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I will take in a I small would, town yeah. and probably make about forty thousand dollars. I'll burn a year. it to the ground. Okay? I think I'll burn it to the I ground. I actually think the opposite. I think in order for you to continue re- your evolution as a man, Brian, you need to find this guy. You need to hire a PI, lie to him as to why you're hiring him. Mm. Say, oh, and, I think this guy's running around yeah. with my wife or something. And then, find him and beat the living and then, shit out. And, of and him. then what you do I is, and you. then what you do is, you get William H Macy to star in that movie, and it's an independent movie because <laughs> and that's nobody, not something and that really. Happens. Hey, well, come on, man! No, I, I the guy people, who would play we, me in a movie, first of all, is clearly either Russell Crowe or um, the guy Tom who plays Arnold. Wolverine. 
Um, Reginald Val Hugh Johnson. Jackman. Reginald Val Johnson. No, man. Um, yeah, I think I think some people deserve a beating. I think yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you know we live in a society you can't beat people up. When you do that, you have to fill out papers with the cops. And I'm not I'm not condoning beating the shit out of people. But that guy sounds like he just needs a fucking ass. I'll do what Evil Knievel did when a guy wrote a bad article about him in the newspaper. Evil what? Knievel beat him with a bat <laughs> and went to jail. And when the cameras were on him, he said he said basically. Um, he he. Uh, nobody writes something about me. You want you have something to say to me. You come to my face, but you write something to me and, about me in the newspaper. I can't defend myself. I'm going to defend myself. Well, so. that's fucking crazy to oh, say yeah. that evil He's cable. Insane. Because he was a bad guy. You know why? He robbed banks. You know why? Because newspapers. Yes. So, right. 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 We have well, newspapers, and they've been around since. Uh, also, before you know well, that guy's crazy because before he beat the shit out of that guy, his name was still Evil Knievel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're insane, Chris. Do I, you have a, I, uh, something to a vulnerable to story? Yeah. I mean, well, one time I was, uh, I, I used to be really scared. I couldn't sleep through the night up until I was like, it was way too late. Like I would be like, I was like, I think twelve. Like that's wow. like I would have to. I'd be like, Mom, Dad, come here. What's going uh, on? Anything? Uh, like I had a really overactive imagination. And um, what I would do, uh, I, one time I was like, Yo, I'm gonna spend the night at my friend's house. I never did this before, but he like loved Freddy Krueger. And uh, my mom basically called his mom and said, yo, can you put like all the Freddy Krueger paraphernalia? Can you take it out? Because Chris was getting really scared about Freddy Krueger. So oh. I got there. And, and you were like 13, 14 years No, old? I was like a, like 10 like probably. 16, okay. 18 years old. <sighs> Guys. He's being vulnerable. Okay, so I, know, but so I, I get there. I wouldn't have hung out with you just so you know. You I get there. Been in my house. And you would have been 28. I get there and the, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. I get there and uh, this the, the Freddy Krueger stuff's down, but there's this one poster that's rolled up and the only thing I could see are the eyes of Freddy Krueger. So I asked them, could they please turn that poster the other way? So Aww. Freddy Krueger's eyes, yeah, it's real cute, right? Real Chris, vulnerable. you're being so it's cute It's right vulnerable, now. right? Okay. So what happened was we we're you're going to so okay. Well, that's I am being so S's. cute, and so and so then uh, we were going to sleep, and we were on the ground, and I made sure that we were both on the ground because I didn't want us to one of us to be on the bed. We were you different levels, up on him. So cute. different levels because Freddy Krueger could kill us at each level. Okay. So <laughs> what happened was I tried to keep him up. We were talking, and I was like, keep talking, talking. I was like, if the light just comes up, then one day, then when the light comes up, then I'll be able to be okay because the light will be up. So. I end up getting real tired. I end up falling asleep, passing out, and I, I wake up, and then I really got to go to the bathroom, but I'm too scared to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. Okay? So I don't. So I end up seeing on the TV. It's still on. I swear to God, I look at this, and to this day, I, I was not making this up. I was not dreaming. I see, all of a sudden, Freddy Krueger walk into this room on TV, and he's coming to the camera, and this is real. Seriously. This is like a clip from the movie. So Jesus. now I'm like, well, now I definitely can't go to the bathroom. Right. I'm way too scared because I'm going to fucking... Because so Freddy Krueger's in the TV oh, now. No. And this is serious. Okay? So I'm like, just wait you it out. You didn't have a bottle or a I'm going to wait it out. I'm going to wait it out. So I end up falling asleep, and I end up waking up like 30 minutes later. There's something in my butthole. Okay? <laughs> wait a minute. It's a log of shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's so it's so dry because I was so scared and I was like, oh shit, I gotta go to the bathroom and I ran and there was a log of shit coming out of my butthole. Oh no! Half of it was coming out and I ran to the bathroom and I shit in the toilet. And no shit got anywhere except a little bit in my pants and on the. Well, the that's, that is shit getting somewhere then. Well, I know, but a little bit in my pants. <laughs> yeah, but that's disgusting. Okay, but anyway, he never knew about so it. So you were scared and disgusting at the I, same I time. I shit my pants while I was sleeping. That's how scared I was. Oh. oh. Frank Krueger knew. that's very vulnerable. Well, you said vulnerable. Yeah. You had a turtle head. You had a little dry shitter. Mm. Yeah, I had a real turtle head. Oh, no. Wow. That makes me want to judge you a little bit. Uh, I was 10. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I was, how old? I was 26 at the time. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been vulnerable. No, that's not true. Uh, you have I, I, got, I don't know if we have time for this, but I, I, I let me see if I can summarize a very vulnerable story that happened to me. Okay, here's here's the thing. My parents, I love them very much. They're adorable little Italian people. They grew up during World War II. They're originally from Italy. My parents immigrated in the late '60s to Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother and sister were actually born in in Italy, um, and then I was a mistake ten years later. That's not the vulnerable part. I used to have rabbits when I was a kid, and oh we'll skip to the part where. I had rabbits. I had this big cage. We had the big backyard. We had this thing. And if a rabbit gives birth and the father touches the, the babies, the rab the mother eats the babies and they get into this crazy rabbit fight. And I couldn't tell that the, the female rabbit was pregnant. Right. I was about nine or ten. <clears throat> oh, boy. There's a litter. The dog next door, Tammy, um, whose owner fucking slapped that dog. My sister would call the SPCA all the time. Mike, you piece of shit. Um, 
It's for real. This beautiful white like husky. Um, Tammy. She Tammy busted through the fence because she could smell the murder in the air. Uh, ate all the rabbits except for four. Right? Yeah. Little nubs. Little fucking pink nubbies. Yeah. I mothered these rabbits and the Mickey, Mickey, Ernie, Bert, Mickey, and Boxer. Um, these four rabbits, I had them house trained in the living room, blah, 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 blah. Finally, one day, my parents, rabbits to them are food. They're like, get these yeah, rabbits out of here. Too, me Enough too. rabbits. They're, they're like, we didn't take them to the pound or anything. They said, we got to get rid of them. We went to the Richmond Nature Park. They said, let it, let the rabbits go in the Richmond Nature Park. I'm like, the, I'm their mom. You don't understand. Like, I'm their father. I'm their mother. And uh, it's like watership down in there. I dropped the rabbits off. I was bawling my eyes out. The rabbits followed me out to the parking lot. And they were screaming. Oh my no. god. I heard rabbits crying. I told my friend Alex Borsty in this story, whom I've known forever, and she looked at me and said, I get you now, Will. I get you now too, and well, I think oh our fans man. do. Thank I ju- you. I Will. just shit my pants. Oh, oh god. Gee, oh, it stinks Chris, in here. He just opened Chris. Oh fuck. Oh, Chris. Oh. Chris. Yeah. Look at you. Uh yeah. Huh? You like to get you just let everything grow, huh? Right. Let it all grow out. Some podcasts are so you don't know how long they last That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast You know what, um, you know what particularly grows? What? My dick in your why? What did you say? Particularly gross. My dick in your why? My why? You why? My why? You are. Anyway. See, I can't prove what you're uh, saying. Well, no, but it's all good because uh, we're just here to do a podcast and let it go. My, <clears throat> my name's Chris D'Elia. I'm Brian. I'll kick your fucking ass, Chris. Okay. The kid, Callan. And? Yeah. And, and I will and, kick your and ass, And what are right? we doing here? Why don't we hear Will? Why don't well, you explain what's going on here? This is... Will Will is a techie. He's a nerd. And he literally goes up to Silicon Valley. He invested in a bunch of startups, these tech startups. And I don't think he's ever made money. I think he's lost a lot of money. Um, there is a little box here in front of the mic and it's called the, it's, there's a label on it. It says the, the Willbot 10,000. And I guess we are supposed to turn, touch the, touch this button, push this button. And I'm going to do that now. And, uh, it should be interesting. So here we go. There it is. Hello. Oh, I am the Willbot Ten Thousand. Oh, right. I am a podcast interface. And cool. Do we just t- and so we can talk to it? I am he- sitting in for Will Sasso. Can you hear us? Can you? Yes. Oh. Right. I have the ability to hear and interact with Brianne Callen and Chris Brian. Delia. Brian Callen. Well, wow. Brian Callen. Brian Callen. Your name <laughs> is spelled B R Y A N. Yes, I know, but you would pronounce it. In my program, that spells Brian. I mean, he's uh, he kind of has a point. The robot. If you'd like your what? name to be Brian, Will will have to program your name. You just said B-R-I-A-N. my name. R I A N. You just said Brian. Say that again. Right, but it's not. Locked. When I am addressing you, your name is Brian. Well, right, because you're not programmed to. You just Brian. said Brian. It is spelled hey, 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 B-R-Y-A-N. Siri, whatever the fuck, A-N. robot. My name is Willbot Ten Thousand. Okay. Okay. What, so I am a podcast I, interface. If you're gonna call me Brian, I am a fully functioning Jesus. member right. of Ten right. Minute Podcast. If, if okay, you're okay, gonna okay. call me Brian, my voice me. has been sampled from Will Sasso. I'm gonna call Brian. Him, uh, Brian. I? Brian. Hold on one second. I don't fucking call I, I, me Brian. No, I didn't. I actually hey, didn't mean guys, to. Hey guys, let each other talk. Why are you a basket of cats? All right. You see, I have listened to yeah. every episode. Of course, of you know the, the basket. This is the problem with technology. Is it doesn't cats. have any human. Well, hold on one second. Callan. Oh God! There, you said it. Whoa! I have the ability to learn. There, oh, awesome! Wow! I can cool. learn names. So, what's nice. my name? Chris Dalia. Dalia, yeah, you got it. Chris Dalia. Okay, good. My name is Will Sasso. Welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. Okay. If you would like to buy something on Amazon, right. please visit our website, 10minutepodcast.com. Right. Okay. So. Then hit the banner that says Amazon. 
Right. Yes. You uh, will not be charged no. more than you normally no, would for okay. your you don't purchase. Have to say that part. Yeah, you don't yeah. Have to say and that we shit. would get a kickback. Right. Okay. So I have right. been programmed to do the reads because you two dope goats will not do them properly. Yeah, I'm being insulted cool by this. a fucking uh, yeah, little but you, computer. You have to look I at have it as been programmed by Will Sasso. How about I sma- how about I smash no. how about I smash you? No, let, let me say. You know what I mean? How about how about I how about I? This is what annoys me about technology. Hey. Hey, uh, fucking... Um, My name is Will yeah, Bach yeah, yeah, yeah. 10,000. Whatever the fuck well, it is. Well, if you stutter, he's going to come in and correct right. you. He's also, like, series, Chris, series re- he will re- be re- ruining the bit. Of course. Brian, series, series dumbass do brother. kill the bit yes. when you are trying to diss Will Bach 10,000. Right. This Listen. is getting very kind of weird meta, actually, but please... Actually just... or actually? Hmm. Right. Because I, I you meant to say actually, actually, actually uh, but you said actually, so hmm, right, because actually, actually is not a word. Right, you do so, it slow. Hmm, yeah, we, we know we're ahead know, of you. We get it. Yeah, we hmm, get it. You know? Yeah, see? Right. Okay, and that's actually, I feel very honored that you kind of know the whole I language. I have listened to every episode I know of that, you the 10-minute podcast. Yeah. I am a podcast interface. You, got, you know what this, hey, I got a question for you. You got boyf? Very funny. That means, do you have a boyfriend? Right. Y apostrophe G A H apostrophe B O Y F. Right. This is what is referred to in my interface as Jape so or what, a gaff. What is it? Wait, what? Well, sorry, what? I am a big fan of the David Greco episodes. Okay. Well, I, I will I, not I feel, bring maybe... them up now, as that would be killing the right. bit. Right. I will leave that to you, but maybe, Brienne. Maybe Brian. Bri- you said that Brian. time I called you Brienne as a joke. Oh. I know your name is Brian. So you're learning humor. because I can learn. Okay. Well, so you're learning now to do humor. <clears throat> yes. Wow. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, that's it's really actually. I mean, as much as you're upset, Brian, that's really really fantastic that you were able to. I mean, that Will was able well, to. Well, it's good artificial intelligence. I mean, that's amazing. That's like, have you seen the Japanese robot things yeah. on YouTube? Like, I mean, this is almost uh, like that. Yes, Will bought 10,000. Like Are you thinking about kinda, you kinda... one of those robots? Whoa. Okay, well, hold that on a second, Brian. A joke. Can oh. I say something, Will bought, to Brian yes. without you interrupting? Brian, what you do is, what you do is, you talk over the robot. The robot's not going to fucking stop talking because it's a robot. So why don't you stop talking? The robot can learn to shut the fuck up, though, can't it? Because it can learn. My name is Wilbot10,000. I can learn to shut up, but I won't. Right. Especially for Brian because you were probably programmed that Brian's the fucking dickhead one. I was programmed to speak over Brian. What about me? Not quite as much as Brian... But I was programmed to speak over Brian. Let me ask you a question. But as Chris said, I am a robot, and that's obvious. Okay, can I ask you a question? Oh, wow. Robot, I like that. Robot, that's... you're not Thanks really a robot that. in a cool. sense. Do you, do you envy robots that have working appendages? and or Brian, do you... you are showing your age, thinking I am actually a robot. <laughs> you're the one saying you're a robot. This isn't Buck Rogers. But you're I the... am a podcast interface. But you said you're you're the one who said you're a robot. No, Brian. My name is Robot Ten Thousand. It's a fun name given to a program, Brian. <laughs> When you were young, you used to listen to music on a solid oak stereo console. Hey, I'm not that fucking old, The size old, bro. of a coffin. Hmm. I almost said console twice. Hmm. You're, because listen, I wow. meant to say You coffin. said you wanted to How fuck one of the nowadays, Japanese robots. You can't do that, Wilbot. An iPod is 10,000 times over me. smaller. Wilbot. A solid Wilbot. state console is Wilbot. approximately Wilbot. 30, He's not going to square. I'll do it. Wilbot. Excuse me, Wilbot? Yes. Oh, what See? the fuck, man? Well, because that's he's programmed nut- to talk over Yeah, you. that's bullshit. We have two minutes left. Okay. As Wilbot 10,000. Okay, so you're going to just keep Wilbot. talking over me? I got it. I got it. What the fuck? I need to remind Wilbot? you. Yes, Chris. Unbelievable. Um, I Amazing. think that what we're trying <laughs> It's amazing. I'm insulted. <laughs> it's somewhere around this point that Will would ask you guys a question that would 
wrap up the podcast. So ask the question. For the listener. Uh, the guy, sure. he's not even hearing me. So I know. So what I, would I, the I question be, here. be then? My question would be, get to the point. Okay. Well, we actually don't really know the point is. I mean, the point is maybe that technology is, I, I, I'm just, I can't believe that Will made this. And and I'm very impressed. I'm not. Th- I'm impressed, but I'm also I very am a annoyed. Podcast interface. Sure. Yeah, I know. Can I get a word in? No, he's you, not going to. You, know, you I talk- only have a few seconds left. Make it make sense. Uh, oh no! Too late. Okay. Another episode down the drain. Well, At least we know it's not Will Sasso's responsibility <laughs> because he's not here. I feel like you just kind of programmed the robot to do that no matter what. I, I have too. been programmed by Will Sasso exactly. to it's... replace Will Sasso. Well, right. I am the Willbot 10,000. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll call you whatever I want. <laughs> I will be back. Yeah. Are you okay. episode after episode? No, you won't. No, you I definitely will also won't. Also, do sponsor reads. This is the last time you'll be on this. Speaking fucking... of, I you'll like this him. is the Thank last time you'll be on this fucking podcast. podcast. I think you I like hear him. me? Please Yo, this is the last time. Subscribe hey, to us on this iTunes. is the la- hey asshole. I'm this sorry, is the last Leanne, time. If oh, you're a Canadian, it's Brian. This is the last fucking time. Unbelievable. It's amazing. The robot said, "Unbelievable." I am Excuse the me. Will Bot. Will Bot? 10, Will yes. Bot? Oh, oh, fucking fuck you, man. Is do? Is do? Is do? Is do? You don't do quick enough. Is do? No, is do? Drums. I'm doing it now. What? Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to Ten Minute Podcast. Welcome to the 10-Minute Podcast. You're going to buy something on Amazon. It's Christmas shopping. You know, you can go to... Chris, anyway, just Chris is trailing, biting his lip and all I can see is doing a weird, weird, weird noise. Go to 10minutepodcast.com. Hit the Amazon banner. Do your Christmas shopping that way. Do you always have to go say to that? The, yeah, I do, no. Brian. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Uh, yeah, but, you know... And then, let's get through it. Let's get through it. Let's get through it. Let's get through it, man. Let's get through it. Let's get through it. Let's go. Let's get through it. do. Let's go. Come on. And, you know... St. Jude Children's Research Hospital banner is a good thing to do that instead of gifts this year. You go, you hit the banner on our website, it all goes to the kids. Literally, and you can no, send, one uh, it, no, no one does it. No, they should do it. No, they do. And they I do it every Christmas. Should. Humanity and is a good thing. do it. And my name is Will the Striated Santa Claus Sasso. That's, oh, okay. not, That's true. not true. Yep. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. <clears throat> and I'm Chris Lee, and I don't have a nickname because I'm Ron, which is his. That's is fine. So. But I'll tell you what. I'm no. striated because nah. I'm striated. Stri- and I'm stri- Santa Claus because Christmas. You're right. not. Yeah. You're not. You're not, yeah. you're not, not. a giver. Well, you're not oh, a I'm giver. giver. Oh, no. I'm giving. I'm very generous. You you get, may, you may, I'm, I'm hosting this right here you in, get, my, in my home. You, what? You, get, you sugar cheese. You, get, you, get, you yeah, sugar cheese get. boy. You no, sugar no, no. Cheese no, boy. Don't, don't, say, don't say that he is. You, the other day you were talking about know. he's a gingerbread. Listen, I don't care. And now I'm sugar cheese. I don't care. It's, it's the, the holiday season. Here's what it's I have to say. I'm a, I'm a family man. All right. Okay. And I'm not. I'm not. I, how do I put this? Um, well, first of all, you'd say I'm not. Yeah. But I'm my kids. I don't right now, yeah. like at this moment, okay. I don't want them. Does that whoa, make whoa, sense? Whoa, whoa, Brian. No, Brian. I just mean, I don't mean it's it that Christmas. way. It's Christmas. I what are you know. Talking I about? just mean that family at this stage, if I'm very blunt. Meaning at the yeah. stage in your late 40s or is, what? Yeah, is not. But that's kind of it's when. It's not for me. What? Like, does that, what you, the late 40s about? is a fine time to have a family. No, yeah. I know that, but personally I'm realizing that this maybe was a colossal mistake. Hold on a second. Okay, Brian. first okay. of all, stop, the, well, stop doing it in a sing-songy way because everything you're ending is high. Okay, yeah. I'm, but I'm just trying, I, because I don't want it to come off as, but here's the thing. I, you're doing a very my, annoying thing I with your hands. I love them, but at the at you're the end high. of the day, I feel go. like my kids and even yeah. my wife, as wonderful as they are, they sometimes high. resemble yeah. for me. You're end up going high. Bad, going to... bad meat. It okay. sounds like a question. You know, it sounds like a question. Does that make any sense? Yeah, no. It, it actually it does. I don't want it to sound harsh. I'm it, just... it, it sounds very harsh, and the, and you're just because you're talking it like this right. it doesn't mean it's not harsh. It's very harsh. It's very it harsh. Kinda, you just you sound like a girl that would say she's spiritual a lot. <laughs> right. I'm not okay. like yeah. I grew up, but this religious, is religious. But now I'm more spiritual. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, but that is kind of how I feel right and now. And also, I'd like everyone to go to our uh, Twitter at Tim and Pod, Facebook slash Tim and Pod to see a 
picture of Brian's hands? Would you see? Because it's making me blood red uh, mad. God, but, me, well, guys, because he's pointing to himself with uh, with so, eight fingers and because, two because thumbs. It's, because it's kind of me time is All what right, I'm trying so to what say. Are you, what are you saying? You, I, he's saying, already said it. I'm he saying, saying to, that I don't recognize okay, can myself I break it down? anymore, and I can need to little, save myself. All right, can we do a little psych one on one? Let's do a little junior psychology here. you want to dump your family because you selfish piece of shit. It's the holidays, which means that your family is demanding more of you, and you want to. Dump them off. Don't say dump. You're you using know, you words. know what you want to do? You dump them off like you, a load no, or a shit. Well, you're 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 using really aggressive language. Yeah. And well, for that, me, yeah. For no. me, yeah. And I'm speaking only for me. Okay, like, and dude. I can stop doing. Yeah, that. don't do that. I know, yeah. but I can only speak for myself. Sure. In this. Oh, All right. And that so I have good. to. I have to. I, I feel as though like I have to etch out a tiny bit of territory for myself. I hate what you're doing. Yeah, I hate so you. If you guys and or anybody wants to take my family for a while, like, I think that's kind All of right, what I'm it. saying. Like my let wife. Me, let no. me. All right. Look. Let me. Let me Go just. Ahead. Okay. Look. I I can I I can now just because you piqued my interest and maybe kind of a we all have th- certain things we want to get done right the holiday se- season are you having I, a stroke right now? what I'm saying I is say, uh, holiday season I say that. I I noticed what you said and I can help out a little bit okay yeah thank you and thank even, you a friend yeah. who knows that I'm going through just. Like I just want a little freedom. Are you're annoying the shit out of both of us yeah. with that? You're a it selfish prick. We got it now. Chris well, has no. a solution. Yeah. yeah, I can just like I don't know if somebody wants to like you have your dad and mom. Oh, or whatever I don't can, like them either. Right, but they you can just like, you can have anyway. the kids go with them and then me. No, I okay. I do want to do that. Wait, hold on a second. I would Wait, give my... you didn't let him finish, Chris. What happens? It would yeah, be a, you take your, you take the get the kids give the kids to the grandparents and then I'll. But what about wait? Well, I'll just and then I'll. What I can watch your why or whatever. I, <laughs> My, okay, now hold I it. Even finish the word. Okay, wait. Are you offering? <laughs> Are you offering to uh, watch my wife for a while so that perhaps, perhaps, and this is only for me, okay. all right, but dude, perhaps please. I could step out of my boundaries. I've never and seen maybe. Yeah. I've never seen and this maybe weird... get involved in some other stuff. I've never the... seen the ten yeah. finger selfish talk thing because I'm not mixed with no. with anger. Dude, and, I'm not trying to be selfish. Like I yeah. love my family. I would do right, anything I, 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 for them. I, 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 okay, you do anything for but, family. And so that's if great. you were to give so me, we if you were to give me, right. and I'm not trying. I'm mm. throwing a number. Yeah, yeah, I'm throwing yeah, yeah, yeah. a stupid number. Right, out. right, right. Okay. It doesn't matter. Right. But like, if you were to say, "Here's twenty thousand dollars, and I'll take your wife That's, for a week," like uh, I would say, "Thank you." Okay. Like, well, then why don't we just sense? quid pro quo then? You know, because I'm I'm talking about you get your free time, and then I get to burr burr. <laughs> Don't. Okay, hold on. Oh no! What is that? What did well, he just do? It's something Chris has been saying for a while, but it's sort of just been internal. But what and does now, that mean? Now he's trying to say it on the podcast. Well, what does that mean? Well, you, what, you get to you, yeah. You, what does that mean? You well, get you. You get your how free do you time. spell that? It's something that B-R-B-R. just we, yeah. Br br something we've been saying. Something we've been saying. You know, you you get to sometimes we have your free time, and I get to berber. Okay. Do you know what berber is? I don't. I don't. I'm so confused right now, and I want to know. I well. Okay. Stop, don't be so self, don't stop with the selfish. Like I, you know when you're you know when you're having a good time and you're you're with you're a guy and if you're attracted to a woman and you're with a woman and then yeah. one thing leads to another and then <laughs> okay. Do you get it? Do you understand this term that he's trying to oh, offer like, here? Oh god, oh god. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. Hold on. You remember hey, earlier you when burping? I said you're trying no. no, no, no. Are you remember earlier? Up? Remember earlier when I said you're trying to unload your family? Yeah, you're yeah. Bur- trying to burber your family. You're trying to well, dump I'm just, them just like for a, load. a little while. Well, that's what he's talking about. Make me a criminal, Brian. Listen to... to me, Brian. Listen to me. Dump right, little right? Bur- burber. Right. <laughs> you see what he's saying now? I'm trying to burber. He wants to burber with your wife. Hold on. Hold on. I, I he came here. To, he wants. I to came take... here open to you guys. Yeah. He wants you to, to share with you what I was going through yeah. emotionally. And I wanted to etch out a little piece of territory. Well, that's right. He wants your mom and Big Mike to watch the kids. Yeah. And you want to... And he goes... Burr, burr. You want to take my wife and and you want to get up on that and until you... Burr, burr. Yeah. Burr, burr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry. Brian's been having problems with the family. It's a... Ah. 
Oh. He's trying to help. I am trying to help, man. I know, but yeah. how does saying, that help me, bro? Oh, oh, I'm so glad that the kids can stay at the grandparents. It's always two. Chris, why is it only he just two? Wants to help out. It's, First of it's all, the holidays. He's being, burr, burr. he's being, he's he's being to, Jen. We'll do burr. He's I'll Jen. Be, he give. I'll he's be not being Jen. <laughs> being Jen. He's not. He's offering the violent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to babysit. Watch. You want to violent and, just, and get up in Wait, there and tell you. I'm sorry. What? You want to violent? <laughs> you're getting too lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you want violent. Uh, well, I tell you. Yeah. And yeah. see what you're doing? Your whole body language went from right now for me, what I want to do, to hey, who's hubba 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 hubba? Like trying to tell He brought you back, man. No. He brought you back. Chris's generosity you, is generous. helping you. And simply Berber's by. Aside, Berber is just like a footnote. Uh, Berber's just sort Berber's of. Berber's nothing. I, mean, I do Berber's feel, I'll here be honest there. with you, I do feel a little better and I don't yeah. feel cool. as needy yeah. as I did. There's nothing, look, there's nothing that takes the pressure off quite like. That's true, and you can and then burr burr on your own. I don't feel. I don't know if this and is even. even he, I don't know how I even feel. Chris. Even Chris going burr, burr, is helping you. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's taking pressure you're, you're, off. You're of all your, You're going la da 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 da, and I'm with your wife, and I'm just going. Burr, burr. Burr. He's going to help you. Oh, I don't know how that helps me, man. Yeah, it helps you, man. But I don't feel... Burr. 